In this figure, we have a circle with two chords, AC and BD. They intersect at point E, and the following line segments are formed, AE, CE, BE, and DE. Then, if two chords intersect inside a circle, then the product of the two segments of one chord is equal to the product of the two segments of the other chord. That is, AE multiplied by CE equals BE multiplied by DE. In this video, we want to see why AE multiplied by CE is equal to BE multiplied by DE. We will start by connecting the points A and B and D and C to form two triangles. So here we have the two triangles and the one to the left is A, B, E and the one to the right is D, C, E. First, we need to understand that angle B in the first triangle is the same as angle C in the second triangle. They are equal because they are both inscribed angles that intercept the same arc AD. To better understand this, let's review the definition of inscribed angles. An inscribed angle is an angle whose vertex is on the circle and the two sides are chords. Also, an inscribed angle is one half of its intercepted arc. So, this is the intercepted arc for this angle, and if the measure is 80 degrees, then the inscribed angle will be half of 80, which is 40 degrees. Now, in the figure to the left, the angle ABD intercepts the arc AD, and the angle ACD also intercepts the arc AD. So, if we would know the measure of this arc, then each of these angles would be half of the measure of this arc. Then we can say that the measure of angle B in the first triangle is equal to the measure of angle C in the second triangle. Next, we will take a look at angle A and angle D. These two are also equal because the angle BAC intercepts the arc BC and the angle CDB also intercepts the arc BC. So again, they are inscribed angles and they intercept the same arc. Then we can say that angle A in the first triangle is equal to angle D in the second triangle. And now let's take a look at the angle BEA in the first triangle and CED in the second triangle. These two angles are equal because they are vertical angles. And now we have two triangles that have equal angles and these triangles are similar. Now before we continue, let's review the definition of similar triangles. Two triangles are similar if the corresponding angles are equal and the corresponding sides are proportional. Below we have two similar triangles and the obtuse angle in the first one is equal to the obtuse angle in the second one. The smallest angle in the first one is equal to the smallest angle in the second one. Then this top angle is equal to this one. So the corresponding angles are equal, but the corresponding sides are proportional. In these two triangles, the smallest side in the first triangle corresponds to the smallest side in the second triangle. The middle side corresponds to the middle side and the longest side corresponds to the longest side. And again, these sides are proportional and let's see what this means. Let the first triangle have the sides of lengths 3, 4 and 6 and the second one 6, 8 and 12. Then if we divide 3 by 6, that will be the same as 4 divided by 8 and that will be the same as 6 divided by 12. So again, 3 over 6 equals 4 over 8 and equals 6 over 12. Each of these ratios is 1 half. Now, the same situation we have with the triangles to the left. Here, the side AB corresponds to the side CD, BE corresponds to CE, and AE corresponds to DE then we can form the following proportion. AE 
divided by DE equals BE divided by CE. So again from the figure AE divided by DE is the same as BE divided by CE. Now once we have this proportion we can cross multiply and we will get the following. AE and we can write it in parentheses multiplied by CE equals DE multiplied by BE. And here we have shown that the product of two segments of one chord is equal to the product of two segments of the other chord. I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you for watching.